Hi, I'm Ado Van Belkem and welcome to Postmortem here on screen. Tonight's film is a dog named Cujo. Check that. Tonight's film is about a dog named Cujo, based on the best-selling novel by Stephen King called Cujo. The story is basically about a 200-pound St. Bernard that chases a rabbit down a hole. But instead of finding Alice's Wonderland, he gets bitten on the nose by a rabbit bat. After that, the film is one big setup that puts a woman and her son inside a pinto while a rabid monster of a dog waits for them outside, ready to tear them apart the minute they open the door. It's a simple but rather chilling premise. And more than a horror movie, it's a film of terror and suspense, and real life terror at that. There are no axe-wielding murderers, no supernatural demons, no plagues of death and destruction. Just a situation that by any number of unfortunate coincidences, any one of us could find ourselves in. And while being stuck in a car waiting for help for three days doesn't sound that bad, picture yourself in your own car in the summer with the windows rolled up, with nothing to drink, nothing to do, and nowhere to go, while a slobbering, bloody, bloodthirsty dog sits outside of the car and waits, ready to tear your throat out the moment you open the door. Not exactly my idea of a weekend in the country. So sit back and relax and get ready to be terrorized by a film named Cujo. Hi, I'm Ado Van Belkem, and welcome to Postmortem, here on screen. Tonight's film is The Ugly, The Ugly, a different kind of psycho killer movie from New Zealand. The first film by Scott Reynolds, who grew up in Hollywood. Why don't you know it? Grew up in Hollywood. Anyway, his parents had a job at a theater there. He went to see movies all the time. And then he got a job as projectionist, putting the movies in, watching the movies, putting the movies, watching the movies for 10 years. That was his film school. And then he made this movie, The Ugly. Did I say it's from New Zealand? That's right. It's about a serial killer who was put into a mental asylum for six years. And then he wants an independent assessment doesn't trust his doctor's independent assessment. So they call in a flashy psychologist who's famous for getting psychopaths off. That's right. She gets psychopaths out. So she interviews him and tries to help him because she's a famous doctor. That's right. And then she lets her guard down. And you know what happens then? She lets her guard down and the psychopath, he gets out escapes and then he does what psychopaths do best and you already know what that is anyway you probably think this is a first time movie on a low budget like you've never seen before and you're right absolutely right this one it's got good characters good storyline it's all very well done very well done very well done and it's stylish too. You want to know how stylish? It's all in blue. Blue! Not depressing blue, but in your face blue. Everywhere you turn, blue, blue there, blue there, blue everywhere. Even the victim's blood is blue. And it's complex too. So when you sit back and you relax, you have to pay attention, pay attention. Because there might be a test after. A psychological test. Well, the ugly just kept messing with my head, messing with my head. And that was good to see. At the end there, I was convinced that the doctor was going to live. But then there was this line of blood forming across her throat. I didn't see that coming. Didn't see it coming. Gotta be prepared. Didn't see it coming. So I want to give a salute the first time director Scott Reynolds. Can somebody give me a hand with the salute, please? Thank you. Salute to Scott Reynolds for showing us that 
Low budget doesn't have to mean low quality. This one was artistic, visceral, and smart. And I know smart. Anyway, it was made in New Zealand. New Zealand of all places. What are they famous for? Kiwis and maybe a rugby team called the All Blacks and I don't know, maybe apples. But apparently, the productions of Xena, Warrior Princess, and Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, brought all these talented people to Auckland. And now it's a real thriving center for movie productions that made the ugly possible. And I'm really glad that the ugly is a good movie. Because if it wasn't, if it wasn't, I'd be all over it. Like ugly on Rosie O'Donnell's butt. I'd be saying things like, there's good movies, there's bad movies, and then there's the ugly. Wouldn't that be fun? But, 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 there's bad movies, but then there's just plain but ugly movies. <laughs> I'm Edo Van Belk. Good night. Pleasant dreams.